Hi there, welcome to my market update, I'm bringing it close to 2016 and looking at what we can expect as we head into 2017. So today we're bringing you the report from 37 Ormadale Road in Yuronga. This is a property I'm currently marketing and as you can see it has extensive views of the river and it's absolutely stunning. So it's been an interesting 12 months when it comes to real estate. One minute the market's up, the next minute it's down, so I can understand why property watchers have been a little confused. Brisbane as a whole has been pretty quiet when it comes to sales and Yuronga is definitely no exception. So as an example, um, in Yuronga only 31 houses sold this year um, so far, looking at last year 78 and 61 units compared to the previous year with 110 units selling. Now there are many reasons why sellers are holding off at the moment and one of them is basically uncertainty of finding their next home. I guess the risk is selling their place and not finding a new property to move into or having to move twice or maybe even rent in between. Now the average time that we're holding onto our properties used to be around the seven years and now we've stretched that out to ten and if we look at apartments people are now holding them for around nine years instead of six. So there's been a lot of talk about an oversupply of units and apartments in Brisbane which is true. There's a two-year pipeline of over 44,000 units and apartments being constructed um, in the next two years which is 15,000 more than the normal time frame. So if you are looking at putting your unit or apartment on the market um, in the near future, I would suggest doing it sooner to beat the developer discounted stock. So the good news for first homeowners uh, that are looking into buying into this market is the government have increased their um, new build grant from $15,000 to $20,000 for first homeowners, which is a great initiative and hopefully we'll get the market moving. Now we definitely have noticed a high demand for prestige property, especially in the latter part of the year. We're seeing still the Chinese buyers moving into the area, moving into Brisbane because of the lifestyle and expats are purchasing in good suburbs where they can get a strong rental yield and then move back into those homes later. There's no reason why that should change, providing the economy does stay stable and the interest rates are still attractive. Now, median property prices have increased from 3.5% last year up to 5.7% this financial year. And the median property price locally is 755000 So, is it a good time to sell now with Christmas approaching? Well, a lot of people that we are talking to are now looking at putting their property on the market in the new year. So for that exact reason, yes, it is a good time to put your property on the market now. Um, you will have your pick of buyers, um, less competition with regards to houses. And as we are all aware, the more buyers equals more offers on your home and generally a higher price. I know that I personally, as well as my team members, are working with many buyers in different price brackets, all waiting to pounce on their new listing. So give me a call and we can put a plan together, whether it's this side of Christmas or after the new year, and work out when will be the best time to sell for you. I'll take this opportunity to wish you a fun and safe Christmas break. I will be working over the Christmas holiday, so feel free to give me a call, otherwise we'll catch up before or afterwards. Um, oh, and don't forget to enter my Dress Your Pet for Christmas competition with an opportunity to win a Christmas hamper. And if you'd like to know anything else about this beautiful property at 37 Ormadale Road, please give me a call and have a fun and fantastic Christmas. Talk to you soon.